Hey guys, um, this is the last example in chapter nine. Yay! Okay, so before we go and complete example four, let's define two um, vocabulary or formula really quickly. The first formula is the work done by a constant force F in moving an object from point A to point B. So this is just really moving it horizontally okay, without any angles at all. So the work they use W is the formula says, I'm going to spell it out, the magnitude of force times your distance. So that's spelling it out for us. So, but in symbol, as you know already, the magnitude of force is the absolute value times the distance, the distance from A to B. Well, distance is also the absolute value from A to B. Now, this again, this again is the formula for the force. Okay, so force is apply along the line of motion, which is horizontal. Along the line of motion, which is again horizontal. Okay, this formula is only for horizontal, which is the force that's applying along the line of motion. Now, what if the force is not horizontal? What if the force is not along the line of motion? For example, if we were moving something and we were pushing it upward or downward. So if the constant force is not along the line of motion, but instead it is at an angle, let's call it theta, to the direction of motion, then the work W is the work W done by force in moving an object from oops, not form from a to b is work equals the dot product of force to line a b and again dot product is not the same as multiplication this formula is used when theta is not horizontal this formula up here is used when you are moving an object horizontally. Example four. Oh, there's an extra one right there. Right, ignore that one. Example four. The girl in the figure below is pulling a wagon with the force of 50 pounds. This is the force of 50 pounds. How much work is done in moving the wagon 100 feet if the handle makes 30 degrees with the ground? So makes 30 degrees with the ground, the handle makes that, and she's moving 100 feet. So if you look at the drawing, we have, we need to find two things. We need to find the force, and we need to find the distance of AB, okay? The distance of AB is pretty easy. She's moving it 100 feet, so if we put her, if her starting point is at the origin, we move it 100 feet horizontally. So that's just 100, 100 I. So that's not too bad. Now the force is this dude right here. So the force, we know the force has a magnitude of 50 pounds and it has a degree of 30. So we are going to put it in polar. Cosine of 30 degrees plus sine, what is up with a spider web again? Of 30 degrees in the j direction. So how do we get this force? We go 
this distance and we add this distance to get your, your force, okay? Let's compute 30 degrees and cosine and sine. So force equals, maybe I write it too fast so the spider webs come out. Cosine of 30 degrees is about 3 over 2 in the horizontal direction plus sine of 30 degrees is a half in the vertical direction. We will simplify this out, which is 20 five wrap three in the horizontal direction plus 20 five in the vertical direction so we have the force vector we have the a b vector in essence okay the dot product work equals the dot product of these two which is A1 times A2 plus B1 times B2. A1 is going to be 25 at 3 times A2 is 100 plus B1 is 25, B2 is 0. So this whole second term is gone. So the force done is 25, uh, the work done, I'm sorry, is 2,500 rad 3. And yes, you must give me the right unit of measurement, foot pounds. This is the work. Okay. And that is the end of example four. Actually, this is the end of chapter nine.